So, you know, all my kids are grown and stuff now. I'm starting a side new career, which makes pretty good money. So, what are we going to use the money for? So, you know, if you got a lot of money, some people say, okay, well, cool, they go out and buy these big touring bikes, with trailers and campers, or buy an RV and put their bike in, and, you know, buy a big, nice truck, turn into a camper with a toy hauler or whatever, and that's never really been my thing. You know, I've been from the lowest lows to the highest of highs, and I'm blessed to still be here. And I've always had this theory that, you know, spending the money on you know all this and all that i'd rather spend the money on the experience other than the object and yeah you need bikes and stuff to get where you want you need a way to get there there's two feet though you know uh you see me do these do yourself upcycle projects and stuff i mean they're nice and it's nice to be able to go to a camp store and a expensive camp store but what do you do if you do have the money for me, I would rather go old school. I'd rather still iron, you know, ride the iron head every once in a while, ride the bobber. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with the big touring bike if that's your thing. It's just not my thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm probably going at some point here in the near future to buy me a, I don't know, I'm thinking a soft tail deluxe or a road king. But it ain't going to be the big bearings and the heated seats and all that because that, to me, that takes away the experience. Know, being on the open road when it's cold and pulling over and getting warm, you know, snuggling in a sleeping bag with you know, hey. but you know, money does help if something does break down. That's the reason I like the old bikes because you can work them on the side of the road, and that's how the fun of it. You know, the, the journey of getting to your destination it makes it you know something else. And whenever, just like whenever last time I was in Daytona, you know, use an iron head, you brought an iron head to bike week, yeah. I brought an iron head bike with you. It was awesome. Uh, you know, it's something different. A lot of people, you know, they have these garage princesses that never go out. They got these big touring bikes, and for them, it's a sign of them working and having money. My bikes actually work <laughs> and save me money. Um, it's hard to get parts for it sometimes, but that's half the fun too. The journey of finding the parts. You know, going like American Pickers or something, going out and finding an old headlamp and making it work. Or driving down the road, your headlight falls off. What are you going to do? You got to have a headlight. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You find a way. Uh, that's how my bobber ended up with that four tail light on it. Uh, yeah. So that's just a lifestyle, I guess. But. We're getting ready to start this new adventure and you know going to trucking and kind of be across the road so uh as i'm getting packed up i found a couple of my old cameras my digital cameras and stuff so i'm gonna take them and we'll be shooting from the road and doing this and doing that and hopefully we can have some adventures together you know make a little bit of money maybe be able to uh oh a couple of events or something you know meet up at some bike rallies or do something like that I mean, it'd be awesome to drive or you know, drive one of the trucks from the bike rallies like some of the guys do. But anyway, maybe drive for Harley. Maybe I need to put that on my bucket list. Drive a rig for Harley. But we're going to go through this because y'all know I've got this dream and truck and putting a motorcycle lift on it and getting to California to drive across the Golden Gate Bridge. So this is going to be our journey. You know, money does help. But let's figure out what we can do, you know. Maybe get back. If you got two shovels laying in the yard, leave them laying there. If I need one of them, I'll steal it if they take one. So let's take some of the, our blessings and our journeys. So the good Lord above has blessed me. So I'd like to get back as we get through this journey. Let's see if we can't help some people along. Like my Thanksgiving video says, stop by Home Sky Sandwich. I know there's a lot of 
panhandlers out there. There's actually some homeless people that need homeless vets. A lot of them won't ask. Me being a vet, and I've been homeless before. I can kind of pick them. So we're going to have a great adventure. You don't need money to get out there and see this big old world. It helps. But either way, you got two feet, a wheel, heart's beating, ain't pushing days. Get up, live a little, laugh a little, love a little. Get out there and see this big old world. Until next time. Like and subscribe and you can see free zone. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.